Good morning, everyone. Today is Sunday the, what is the date, honey, the 8th? Okay, I was wrong. It's the ninth. Oh, goodness. My lighting just got bad. Hold on. It was better a second ago. I can't figure it out. Anyway, today is a really, really good day because we've reached the 500 mark. Yay! Um, this is Lynette with Charmed Grammy Crochet. I'm so excited to be here with you today. <clears throat> Excuse me, I got a horse voice. I do want to remind you to subscribe, like, and share. Thank you so much. Um, up to the 500 subscribers is awesome and it's all because of you and I appreciate every second that you watch every comment that you make every time you like every time you you know help someone subscribe or share so that someone subscribes it just helps me so much uh, and we're building towards that 1000 and more giveaways but I have a good one for you today. So, you know, I go to that uh, discount store local to me that's called Mark's and I buy Dreamweaver yarn and um, people have always commented on the yarn and the store. So I have over the past few weeks gone into several different Mark's stores um, because I shop there on a regular and I've purchased yarn and I've made some videos of their shelves and what some of them look like. And I'm going to attach them at the end. There's probably not much verbiage going on during, I don't, I don't, most of the time I wasn't talking or maybe I was talking just a little. I don't know what's going on in there. And anyway, I'm attaching them at the end. You can watch them if you want to. I had a hard time kind of filming them because I was trying to make it wide. So I put it so that it looked wide in my camera screen you know on my phone but then I think they actually took kind of this way and I can't make them if they're this way I can't make them go this way if they're this way I can't make them go that way I can't I, I couldn't I can't I've tried already to figure out how to make them all be the same direction but they're not so you'll probably you know get motion sickness watching the videos because some are this way some are this way so some you'll be watching like this if you choose to watch and see what's in the yarn section of the different stores. I think, I don't know, there's probably four or five different ones. After so many, I'm like, okay, I give up. I can't figure out which way makes this work right. And since I, after I learned that I can't figure out how to, or, you know, change the orientation in my laptop after I download them from my phone, I couldn't do it on my phone, change the orientation. I don't know why on the videos. It lets you change orientation no problem on you know pictures but on videos I couldn't make it work so enough of that. Let's see what we got. So I took the volcano basket and I've been filling it with Dreamweaver. So the winner oh wait let's first go over some of the rules. Um, I'm gonna open this worldwide because I have world worldwide subscribers um, which I think is so freaking awesome. I can't even tell you how awesome that is. Um, so I'm going to open it worldwide. You have to like the video. You have to be subscribed. And I can check, and, and, and I do check. And every video so far, I'm sorry to say, I've had to, I've had to pick more than one winner because they weren't subscribed. And I know because I get an email. So, and there's like 15 different ways we can check to see if you're subscribed and I've checked every one and they're, they're not subscribed I have to go to the next person um, because that is a requirement it is a rule so enough ado about that um, you have to be able to accept you know to receive con you know mail from our country from this country you have to be in a place that I can ship mail um, to any taxes, any duties, any 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 of that stuff, that's all on you. Um, I will pay to ship, but I'm not paying taxes and duties and what have you. Um, what else is important? I guess you have to be 13. I am not a sponsored channel. YouTube has nothing to do with this giveaway. This is all me uh, and my husband. <laughs> um, we purchased the yarn and we are giving it away. So, here we go. Back to the fun stuff. 
by clicking, by making a comment, you will have to comment because I'll use that comment picker thing. Um, so if you make a comment, that means you're agreeing to the rules. So here we go. I have this green. It's got flecks of color in there. It is like a pistachio color green. It is called, it doesn't ever tell you what am I talking about. It, the information it gives you is that it is 100% acrylic and each skein is five ounces and 260 yards. So we're getting that. This is just a sample of what we get there. Um, this beautiful, it's like the, like, um, landscapes, not landscapes, maybe landscapes. Um, anyway, this is beautiful. I love this yarn. Also 100% acrylic, and all we get on this one is that it's three and a half ounces per skein. But you get all those yummy colors in there. And the yarn has a little shimmer to it. I don't, I think you can see it in there. Uh, and it's got a little bit of a halo. Um, <clears throat> I have used this yarn. I um, I didn't find it difficult to work with, uh, even even for frogging. I mean, you might have to tug a little, but it's not bad. And it, and it works up real pretty. I haven't used this particular color. And honestly, this is the only skeins that I found of this particular color. So you can have those. Then I have in here, oh, let's go with, oh, let's go with this real funky. Because a lot of times you get funky yarns. And that's what I was kind of looking for, stuff that would be different. So I have worked with this yarn before. I have several of these. Um, and they are, so part of it looks like this, which I'm sorry to say is falling out. The volcano basket was kind of stuffed. Then you get like this fuzzy parts here. This part is hard to frog. Um, <clears throat> then it's got this sparkly stuff in here. You see that? So it goes from like this thick, and then it's got some rick a rack looking stuff. Looks all, um, I have made some uh, cowls out of this. I gave them to friends and co-workers for Christmas, and they loved them. Everyone that got one loved them and wears them all the time. They're, like, warm, and they're cute, and they're different because the yarns are so different. Um, <clears throat> they are 3.5 ounces, 100% acrylic, and 190 yards each. So I used a big hook. I don't remember which size, but maybe an 8 or a 9 when I made these. Maybe not that big, but I think so. And like a double crochet or a half double crochet stitch and just made some, you know, circular cowls. Uh, and not real fancy, but they're cool because they have all this different texture to them. So you don't need a, like, fancy stitch or anything. So you get the two skeins of that. Then I got, uh-oh, uh-oh, my yarn ball broke. Oh, aren't there two of these? Darn it. Broke in the basket. Well, hold on. We gotta tape it together because it will be all over. Ah, handy dandy tape right here next to me. Isn't that awesome? Because every time I take yarn out of my bins, I have to tape them back up. For, well, not every time, but frequently. So, this fun fur. Look at that. Our eyelash. I don't know. Whatever you want to call it. This is in like a um, burgundy color. Kind of matches some of the color in that last. Uh, but anyway, this is also 100% acrylic. It says 11 yards per skein. It's really actually quite soft. It would be nice around a hat or, the, or a scarf edge. 11 yards in each in a burgundy color. I don't know, my lighting changed again. I think it has to do with whether how much sun is out there. And it's a cloudyish day, so. Then <clears throat> I have this white, because who can't use white and gray? These are the whites and the grays that I used in my reader shawl. So they're a thicker, maybe five bulky. Um, these are also very soft. Uh, they are 131 yards in each 5 ounce skein, 100% acrylic. So you get white and gray. You can work on those together. 
Um, <clears throat> we have a twin pack of Scrubby. You know that uh, make dish rag scrubber things in patriotic colors. So you can make up maybe some patriotic ones for the 4th of July. Uh, 78 yards in each 3 ounce skein. Also 100% acrylic. Uh, let's see. Then this. Love this color. Oh man, it's not looking very. Um, it's looking a little bit different in color on my. It's not holding true to the colors. I'm sure it's the light. Oh, see, maybe that's better if I put my hand there. It's um, it's like a magenta. And it's a thinner yarn. I'm gonna say this is like a three weight, like a baby yarn. Get some loose threads here. Can you see that? And this one is um, just says five ounces, 100% acrylic. It doesn't even tell you how many yards. So you get two of that pretty color. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Pardon me. Maybe a drink will help. Hold on. Oh, put that back on my little ice yarn coaster over here in the window, so. Then we have this yarn, baby blue, sky blue, whatever you want to call it. It is more of a worsted weight. It's very soft. Reminds you of uh, Karen, um, Karen Simply Soft, as far as the texture, a little bit of shine to it, just a little bit of a sheen, just like Karen Sim Simply Soft. I've worked with it. It doesn't split like Karen Simply Soft. So I'm trying to think what would be Red Heart. Because I'm pretty sure this is all Red Heart. Or mostly all Red Heart anyway. I don't know about the one that looks like this. I don't know if that's Red Heart. I've never seen anything like this. But that's a weird one. But I love it. It's really cool. Um, so this one says it's 100% acrylic. And there's two 5 ounce skeins. And that's all it says. No yardage. Um, I have put this on a cardigan that I made. Uh, and it is very soft drapes really nice so that's that uh, and uh, we're at the end last but not least is this white this is like a little fuzzy it this I don't know why it reminds me of like a kind of like a chamois um, I don't know what the material would be called so you'll have to when you get it you'll have to tell me what you think it is these I'm gonna say it's like probably a three weight yarn um, because it's kind of thinner Let's see if we can get a strand or two up close and personal here see it's kind of thin it's really soft um, you can't see like individual threads in it so I don't know I don't know what it is I have some I think right up here yeah, see the, oops, back this way. This six or seven right here, we've got the white, and then over here is gray and like a teal. Same yarn. I've not ever used it. I've had it for a while. Um, and they brought it back again, but they only had colors that I already had. And so I thought it would be really nice for the giveaway. It is uh, 326 yards per skein, three and a half ounce skeins. Also says 100% acrylic. Um... Um, I've seen yarn similar to this. Wait, hold on. Maybe one of those is a yarn that's similar that I purchased. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is a Bernat. All right, so this is this is what I've purchased. This is a Bernat baby, and they call this a four weight. But if you can see, now this is the. This is the line, uh, the Dreamweaver brand. Let's see if I can get them together here. Ah, well. Okay, I don't want to get my face real close. Just the well, anyway. Can you see them? They're the same, pretty close to the same um, thickness. Even though it says it's a four, I would have guessed it as a three because it seems a little thinner. And the yardage per ball, this, um, 
The Renat Baby is 316 yards per ball. And the Dreamweaver is 326 yards per ball. But they're the same, and this says it's polyester, 100% polyester. So Renat Baby Tiny is what this is called. Um, so I always thought this was all Red Heart, but this, maybe, maybe that's why the label is different, because it's from a different yarn company. I don't know. This one's mine. You can't have that one. But anyway, that's what you get in the giveaway. I didn't count, um, and I can't reach the box. I've been throwing them in a box. So there's, it's a half full box of, uh, hold on. I don't want to knock you down. So we've got two. We've got four. I'm going to hide these because I'll accidentally get shoved back in there. Um... 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Looks like 20 skeins of yarn. All different all different varieties. Um, just because that's what you can get it in the Dreamweaver yarn at my store. They, you know, the one is just a regular uh, worsted weight. And the others are all just a little bit different. Um, so I think and I hope that someone will find that very enjoyable to have. Uh, remember, comment if you agree to the rules and you want to enter the giveaway. Um, like, share would be fabulous. Must be subscribed. I'm going to, the giveaway starts right now. Well, as soon as this uploads, which is going to take a few minutes from now because I have to add that other stuff in. Um, so, then we're going to end it on the 23rd of June and I will draw on Monday the 24th and if my dates are off I'll make a note in the notes below but I'm pretty sure that's what <coughs> excuse me that's what I looked up and decided um I wanted to draw them on a Monday because I'm off on Mondays so we'll have it end on the Sunday and be done on the Monday and I believe the dates are the 23rd or 24th so, thank you so much for watching. If you want to watch the trailer at the end of what the aisles look like in the Marks um, yarn department, which is usually one aisle or a few shelves, um, then continue to watch and enjoy. Thanks you so much, everyone, for being subscribed to my channel and putting up with my shenanigans. Truly, truly appreciate it. Bye. Okay, another Mark store. This is the yarn they have today. Remember that eyelash? And a lot of these. This is new. My Marks doesn't have that. Okay. Um, this is my local store. A lot of this is the same stuff they had last week. The black and the pink, the scrubbies. Um, but this over here is new this week, and I kind of like it. Uh, it's like a bulky five weight. Um, it's 131 yards in the skein. So I'm going to get some of the white, because I think it's pretty. And I don't generally like a rust color. It's really rust, not as orange as it looks in this video. I'm going to get some of that. And the burgundy. I kind of like them together. They have black, too, but I'm not going to get the black. Um, and a gray. So what do you think of that together? Whoa. Gray, black kind of very fallish. Very nice for dark colors. I like it. That's what's new at my marks this week. Um, again, I think I'm going to stay off the black.
find this to be very pretty. That color is kind of pink. Um, I think I'll buy that for two dollars. I like it. I like it a lot. That's all they got. Try another marks another time. Bye. So this is my marks. It has one row of yarn. So these big balls are like what I have. Uh, Dollar ninety-nine. You can see. So then this week, here you never know what you're gonna get. So this week, there's this. Um, I would have no clue what to do with that. So I'm not buying it. But they have. Okay, it's not wrapped up. So you would get. I think that's like the eyelash yarn. But it's okay. Here's a ball. Eyelash yarn. It is kind of like a color doesn't show well on my camera, but maybe it's like a purplish color. Maybe I will get one of those just so I can show you at home. Throw it in for my um it's the only one they have that's like actually packaged, right? Um so that's something different. And then over here they got all the scrubby yarns. These are all scrubbies. So and then they've got this. Which is different. These are scrubbies. Twin pack. Dollar ninety nine. Here. These are pretty colors. But they're so how about red, white, and blue? Maybe we'll get one of those to throw in the giveaway. And I mean they have black or pink as far as the big balls. No good colors this time. They do have an Aunt Lydia's looking thing. A string. Art thread. I don't know. Uh, that, that's a 79 cents. Size 10. That's the only one of these I see. Um, so they don't have any pretty colors. Other than that big ball of pink. So next week it'll be something different. But I just thought you might be interested. And this is how the Marks yarn comes. They've had the scrubby yarn for a while. And they have this. I don't know what you do with that stuff. Oh, my fingers are in the way. I'm not buying that either. But, um, I'm kind of sad that the eyelash yarn is looking all destroyed. I'll just get the one and that will go in the giveaway. And I will buy one of these for myself. Except my kitchen is green. I'll get this color. You can't even see what I'm doing. I'm going to get this one. Oh, maybe not. Let's see. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, I'm going to get this color for myself. Just to try it. Okay, bye.